This is our edit bay, our um, basically it's my little cave area that I come into to uh, do my editing, do uh, graphic design stuff for Tom. Uh, I just check the footage. I also talk to mentees in this room. I also uh, check my emails. I do everything in this room. So I'm connected to the internet so I can actually, at the beginning of the day, be shooting a, shooting a piece with Craig and at the end of the day have, uh, have it uploading or have it already uploaded to YouTube. Yeah, tell us about the program, the Extra Mile. Now, are, are you, uh, so to boil this down, are you saying that uh, it's you more than any kind of vehicle that's, that where the success lies? <laughs> okay. Write that down, too. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I answered all the people that uh, invest in me, that believe in me, and I hold high standards for them. So uh, when I... Uh, joke about telling people to take a hike because I don't like them. Uh, that does not mean I'm an arrogant guy walking around uh, just, uh, you know, walking on uh, all over everybody because I can't. So well, after our meeting today, Tom told me that uh, we have a new promotion for a new reputation management teleclass that he put out over the weekend. So he released the sales letter to his list, but now it's my turn to go back into the social networking, which is a very popular place to promote new products and teleclasses, start telling everybody about it. He actually made a video with Craig helping and Mark helping them create this really nice video. It's four minutes in length. Now I've uploaded that to Facebook because Facebook is very popular. He has a lot of friends there, almost 5,000 people. And now they will all get to see this video I've uploaded and watch it and then link over to the sales letter where they can purchase a teleclass. So it's kind of cool that way. And then of course, when somebody likes it, uh, they choose to make a comment, it'll show on their home pages that they commented on this video and they may have 5,000 friends. Now it's potentially 10,000 people that could see this. So social networking is very important to promotion, getting people excited about things, spreading the word. It doesn't cost anything. We have a lot of profiles, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all these things, and I'm in control of all that. So whenever Tom has a new product, I usually love to get right on to these social networking sites and tell everybody about it. And there's a number of different ways that you can do that. <laughs> 45 minutes till my next call. <laughs> Gonna go out on the tennis court, folks. Practice my serve and toss. I got a ball machine if I want to. Oh, that wasn't me, folks. That was the chair. And uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go out there and get better at tennis. That's what you can do when you work for yourself. And uh, uh, you got your own tennis court. I, I've been out there on the tennis court with him once or twice and watching him. And, but even when he's playing, he's still working. He's turning his play into a way to, to work and to teach people new skills. Now, if my dad would have had anything to do with tennis, which he didn't because he worked pretty much every day of his life, uh, the machine, he would have made himself out of concrete because one day he was fixing the car, it was getting rusty, and he had a big concrete thing in front of it. He's fixing our car with concrete. You could kick it and break your foot. You still there? Very humbling experience, but uh, it, it shows the character of a person when things are bad. When things are good and you're the big shot. I mean, I was the second largest nightclub in the state and everybody knew me and then all of a sudden I was you know nothing I was out of business and so uh, I stood tall and I did what I was supposed to do and I ended up paying everybody back uh, it took me a while but uh, it's better than running from them and having the creditors chasing you and, and there's no uh, there's no self-esteem in that so I, um, I decided that whatever I did from then on I was going to enjoy it uh, and whoever I dealt with was going to enjoy it. The best part about working for Tom would be just being here, cleaning, keeping up, feeling needed. The best thing for, about working for Tom, for me personally, is there's so much here that I love to do. The best part of working with Tom is that I feel like I've become 
a part of his family versus an employee. I really enjoy being here and uh, yeah. Learning new things every day. I love the dress code. That's one of the things I know uh, Craig will probably ask me later on what I like best about working here and this is probably my top five list of things that is the best part about working here is the dress code is very casual as you can probably see. I didn't know we were taping today. The best thing about working for Tom, I get to come in and run around barefoot. <laughs> the best part of my job is uh, working by myself, kind of able to do my own thing and being outside. Well, the best thing about working for Tom is the knowledge that I've gained to create my own businesses. At most companies you would work for, you're just a cog in there, in the wheel of the big operations, and you're not really going to be able to specifically start your own business from whatever company you're working for. But here it's different. This is individual entrepreneurship. I can learn exactly the same things that Tom learned to create this multi-million dollar empire for myself. And I actually do work on that when I go home every night because instantly working here gave me the inspiration to see that, hey, we could all do this. So actually all the people here uh, at Tom's house and his staff, we're all in different aspects and different parts of working towards our own businesses. So it's really kind of cool. And so the knowledge is invaluable what I've learned here. You could never purchase this anywhere else. Oh my God. Don't, uh, don't believe anything you can read on the internet. No, the one which is on your site. Oh, well, that's even worse. You can't believe it. <laughs> so uh, it's 5 o'clock, and I don't pay overtime. So I'm going to uh, uh, send everybody home and uh, check out. I'm going to have some more time to work very quietly all by myself tonight after dinner. So uh, see you around, and uh, go ahead home now, everybody. Yeah, yeah, you, you with the camera, go ahead home. Craig, out of here. I ain't paying overtime, buddy. I'm a cheap <laughs> All right, so, all right, we'll see you later.